Welcome back to another chapter in the Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle Earth board game. We are in Bones of Arnor, chapter 6. So let's go ahead and resume. The Flight from Fornost. The dead city of Fornost, terrain has not yet vanished behind you when you find your path blocked by a band of heavily armed orcs traversing the wilderness westward. Adjusting your course, you are soon met again by a patrol. Turning back, you find sentries from Adarin's army lying in wait in every direction. Your presence is not yet discovered. However, so preferring caution over an engagement with the growing horde, you slip out of sight into a cold, gray cave and plan an escape from the midst of your enemy. This next adventure will be on the journey map. So Gimli is up to 12 XP. So we will see what that opens up for him. We will pick up Defense Instruction. This is a knowledge card. When a hero tests to negate damage or fear, they may spend one inspiration to convert a lore to two successes, and it has the Guard 2 ability. So we'll shuffle that in his deck. And then our lore is at 28. So a travel garb, sword, and ringmail can be upgraded. The travel garb can be taken to a West March garb or the Greenwood garb. So the West March garb increases your Damage and fear limits by one. Before you suffer face down damage, it may prevent one of that. And Greenwood Garb keeps your fear up by one. Basically, it adds the after you explore tile, you may spend one inspiration to scout two. And this is what we previously had. I believe I'm going to take the West March Garb. Put that in the app. And for Aragorn Sword, that will be upgraded. So here's the sword we had and what we are upgrading to. So for one success instead of two, we will get three hits. For two successes, we will get five hits still. And after you defeat an enemy group, you may discard one face down wound or fear. And confirm that in the app. And for Gimli's ring mail. What he had before, decreased agility by one. This one will increase his fear limit by one, keeping the other items the same. And confirm that in the app. And as a group, Boots and rope can be upgraded. Have these attached to Gimli. The old boots. New boots add before you move out of a space, you may deplete this item to not provoke attacks. Tokens remain the same. So some good upgrades here. And the rope gets a little bit better. So our previous rope, and the new rope has when you interact with a token, if you would test Might, you may test Agility instead. Neither one of these characters would do that. When you interact with a token and test Might or Agility, you may deplete this item to convert a lore to a success. And since our heroes can only start an adventure with one trinket, we will not equip the rope to anybody. Confirming that upgrade. And moving on, we will keep the same rolls. Before we move on, we'll take a, another look at Aragorn and his special ability. 
Well, another card to scout during the rally phase, starting with well provisioned, his upgraded sword, banner, hobbit rations, and his new guard. And then for Gimli, his ability after he attacks, he may place one card from the test on top of his deck, starting with you cannot pass, battle axe, upgraded ring mail, and his new fancier boots. Having escaped Adarin's forces within Farnos Terrain, you now find yourself in the midst of his army on the march. The cave in which you now shelter has hidden you from their attentions thus far. However, as the night grows old, you fear that word of your deeds has spread through the ranks and all are on alert. Each hero scouts three. So for Aragorn, not knowing what's about to happen, we will put a success on top and give a boost to his spirit. And Gimli. I like the ready defense, we'll prep that and put the two restless axes on top. Back to the app to continue. And now to set up the board. Place tile 303B as indicated. Continue. The cave in which you hide may soon be discovered as the dawn will reveal its entrances. Little time remaining, you resolve that you must find a way out of the valley before Adoran soldiers realize you are near. Place heroes as indicated. An ancient spiral of stairs descends into the earth, carved into an even older cave just outside, a carving in the stone warns of danger. Place a search token as indicated. A small coracle is bobbing gently in the water. Place a search token. There are two exits from this cave, but neither will free you from the valley. Consider splitting up, but if any of you are caught alone by Adoran's forces, the consequences would be dire. You must venture into the night and find a path to safety. Place tile 201A. Continue. Place an exploration token. Place tile 101A. And an exploration token. No orcs in sight, and you proceed toward the mouth of the cave. Objective updated, exit the caves. We will start with Aragorn using well provision to have each hero scout two. We'll prep lead the charge and put the other one back on top of the deck. And then we will prep restless axe, putting the other one back on top. And then we will have Aragorn interact with that token. See what the small coracle bobbing in the water is. The hide and wicker boat seems to be a small fishing craft. Testing wisdom. So that will be four. Two successes. Which is enough to pass. Checking the trout line leading from the boat, you find a string of fat trout, perfect for salting or roasting. Gain an inspiration, discard a fear, then discard the search token. We found some eating. And then for movement, he will move up, once again splitting the party, and look at this exploration token. Grove of Trees splits an ancient spine of jagged rock. Discard the exploration token. Gain an inspiration. A mound juts up from the earth and discreetly covering whatever lies beneath. Place a search token. Bit of dark red flower surrounds an ancient stone. 
place another search token. Place tile 300A. Place 208A. 205A. Place exploration tokens. You hug the rock slope as you emerge from the cave. The ground is covered with signs of the recent clumsy passage of dozens of orcs. They are marching quickly, and the main body of Adoran's force should be easy for your, your small band to evade, but even the most careless of orc commanders will have posted sentries to protect the army's flanks from surprise attack. Final objective, eliminate sentries and discover an escape from the valley. Having pursued you the full distance from far north to the rain, the shadowy forms of your enemy emerge from other openings in the cave. They do not cry out a warning to the many others nearby, but appear eager to deliver retribution by their own hands. Place an orc marauder in the indicated space. Your journey continues. So that was it for Aragorn. Gimli will use a move and go in here and start a fight. See how dangerous this guy is. He's large, with two armor, and seven health. Four cards. Only one success. No inspiration to spend. We'll put this back on top of the deck. We will go ahead and use Restless Axe to add an additional two hits. So with the one success, it gets two hits, plus two from this, and Sunder. Applying four hits. Enemy will hit back. Norse massive hands grip the handles of a wicked looking axe. Might negate. We have one success, and with his ready defense, we can negate the second one. So no damage taken. So that was a move and an attack, so that will end the hero's turn. Shadow phase. Darkness step. Each hero in darkness suffers two fear. With spirit negating, the only one in darkness is Gimli, and his spirit is four. We have two successes, so that will negate any fear. Shadow deepens, though hope yet endures. Threat increases by eight. There are a lot of exploration tokens out there we need to take care of. So for rally phase, each hero resets their deck and scouts two. So for Aragorn with his ability, he will be able to look at three cards. He will prep Strider and put the other two on top. Gimli will scout two. We already have a ready defense prepped, so we will take Defense Instruction, one of the new cards we just got. When a hero test and negates damage or fear, they may spend one Inspiration to convert a lore into two successes or use it to guard two. And put that back on top of our deck. And then we will have Gimli go ahead and attack. Getting just the one success. 
and nothing else to help boost that. So we'll put that back on top of his deck. To the app. The one success, we have Sunder and two damage. So he will get attacked back. Orc leaps forward, shouting in garbled tongue. Wit will negate. He has two wit. And we have two successes, so we will negate both possible damage and fear. And for his second action, he will swing again. I knew that wasn't going to be wise. So we have zero successes. So back to the app. To do no damage. And possibly takes him in return. Pulls a dagger from his boot and throws it at your head. Agility negates. So agility is one. Not a success, but we do have ready defense prepped. So whenever we test and negate, we automatically add a success. So we will be good. And that is it for Gimli. Aragorn. I'm going to try to just explore like crazy this turn. So he will move one space over here to interact with this token. Boggy Lowland Thick with Mud is guarded by an elegant stone monument. Discard the exploration and gain an inspiration. A row of old stone stands nearby, obscured by moss and vines. Place a search token. An orc sentry stands beneath a ridge that could afford you an avenue of an attack. Place a threat. Place 301B. Two oh four A. One hundred B. Two oh six A. And a whole bunch of exploration tokens. Trolls crisscross the valley before you, a web of torchlights and fires. So intent is your focus on their movements that you do not immediately perceive the enemy that is presently upon you. Place one ruffian on the indicated space. Your journey continues. Well, that means with Aragorn's next action, he will attack. He has a might of three. Three successes should hopefully be enough to do some damage. On this ruffian, that would be eight hits. I'm liking that new sword. Remove that ruffian and gain our fourth inspiration. And finishing his move, it will go over here with this threat token. And that will be all our actions this round. Shadow phase. Darkness step. Gimli is the only one in darkness. So he will use spirit to try to negate. He has three cards. We will shuffle and draw one more. And 
two successes. Shadow deepens, the hope yet endures. Threat increases by 12, because we have a ton of unexplored map. Even traveling with all care and caution, Gimli is suddenly standing between two patrols. Neither has spotted Gimli yet. There's but a moment to escape. He will test his wisdom. And that's not his best trait. But he top deck, and we have two successes. So he passed that test. He flee with all haste, unseen for now. Rally phase. Reset their decks and scout two. So for Aragorn, he will get three cards. We will prep Thorn Gill. A gift him in on the bottom and lead the charge on the top of our deck. And poor Gimli. Let's see here. He will go for time of need, prepping and put this on the bottom of his deck. Then we will go ahead and have Gimli go first to make an attack. Uh, so that time of need will be used very quickly. So when you test, if you do not reveal any successes, you may discard the skill to convert all the lore to successes. So he will get three successes with this. And since it's a May to put one back on top, we will just discard all these. So three successes will be eight hits and a sunder, which it's just going to feel good. Confirming, killing, and gaining an inspiration. And for his second, he will move. So one movement and explore. Sickly trees bend over shallow pools, discard the exploration token and gain an inspiration. A lone sheep crops the grass with no sign of a larger herd around. Place a search token as indicated. Your journey continues. And once again, just a, he will move. I know there's leaving a lot of search tokens behind, but I want to get these exploration cards or tokens off the board. Between two small hillocks, a deep hole leads into an unseen underground cavern. Discard the exploration token and gain an inspiration. An orc sentry stands with a perfect vantage on the surrounding area. Place a threat token as indicated. Your journey continues. So that was an attack and two movement points for Gimli. So Aragorn will interact with this threat token. North Sentry stands beneath a ridge that could afford you an avenue of attack. We will eliminate the Sentry. The Orc is unaware of your presence behind it when you attack, but a reinforced band of armor catches the otherwise mortal blow. Its long arm, knotted with muscles and scars, reaches back, grabs a hold of you, and flips you forward. Land on your back and the orc looms over you with a wicked sneer and unsheathed blade. Test might, which is three. We have one success here, but we will go ahead and spend two inspiration to give us three successes.
kick out its back leg, setting it off balance, but not bringing it down. Immediately you pull your heel back into the orc's knee, falls forward, its blade sinking to the ground beside you. Again and again you strike out, not allowing it to recover. At last you get your weapon in hand and finish the sentry off. Discard this threat token. As you hide the evidence of your passage, you notice a leather map case where the sentry stood. You unfurl the parchment inside and reveal a map of ancient Ornor before it collapsed thousands of years ago. The path along which Artisan's army now marches is marked in fresh ink, traveling from four Norse to the west, across the Brandywine and into a new, I'm not even going to try it, Arner's one-time capital. Adderin seeks something among the ruins, lore increases by one. Standing where the orc was posted, you turn your gaze toward your surroundings. What was the orc guarding? Sparse path stretches out before you, overgrown and meandering without careful consideration. And perhaps the assistance of others, the way is uncertain. If there is a way to be found at all, place a search token as indicated. So that was one interact. You will move up the map to explore. Wind brushes over the grass, making the wood of an old Gibbet Creek ominously. Discard the exploration token and gain an inspiration. Nork Sentry stands. It's back toward you. This could be the perfect chance to attack. Place a threat token as indicated. Small crown of stones is draped with green garlands. Place a search token as indicated. Your journey continues. With the second movement, We'll go up and explore that tile. An ancient oak presides over the stretch of hill land and a rocky slope conceals a bear den. Discard the exploration token and gain an inspiration. Your journey continues with the end of our actions for this turn. None of our characters are in darkness. Threat increases by nine. Group of Adoran's troops has picked up your trail and is set on bringing him your head. No doubt word of your interference has reached Adoran by now. Place a hungry warg on the indicated space. So that will be right with Gimli. Rally phase. Tier resets their deck and scouts two. Starting with Aragorn. He will scout three. Let's see, there's nothing up there with him. So he will put Windham on Grass on top of his deck for a success. And we will prep Gift of Men, but we already have four its limit, so this card will be discarded and put this on the bottom of our deck. And then for Gimli. He's not going to be near by someone for a while, so we will prep Spirit and put this on the bottom of our deck. And we will start with Aragorn, moving one to interact with the threat token. North Sentry stands back towards you. Could be a perfect chance to attack. Eliminate the sentry. Not until you draw close, so you realize the orc is asleep on its feet, swaying slightly. 
So you close the gap, the creature teeters too far. And losing its balance, takes a sudden step that jars it awake. Its eyes grow wide, both from the start and your sudden presence. But you are only a few steps away. Test agility. All two of it. It's got nothing to help him with that, so two cards. One success, and we will spin an inspiration to get us two. Orc turns and runs, howling with fear and spite. The cry is short-lived, but enough to raise the alarm. Far off in the valley, a horn sounds. Threat increases by three. Then discard the threat token. Standing where the orc was posted, you turn your gaze towards your surroundings. What was that orc guarding? Head is a sheer, jagged cliff that might afford you a high path out in the valley. Its ledges and crevices are few, and without aid, the precipice may prove unyielding. Place a search token. So he moved one space, interacted, so he will move back to look at the search token next turn. And then as for Gimli, see how bad this warg is. Oh, he's hungry. One armor and eight health. So he will take a swing. Four cards. One success. Let's see, he needs to do nine damage. He will spend two inspiration to have three successes. Putting the battle axe back on top. With three successes, he will get eight hits and a sunder. Should do the trick. Applying eight hits and removing the hungry warg, gaining one of those inspiration back. And for his second action, he will look at this threat token and hopefully eliminate a sentry. Find a perch above the foul orc, but the beast is beyond your reach. Insert short joke. Few can lure it, but a few steps in your direction. Testing wit. He has two wit. With one success, we will spin an inspiration for two. Listing yourself out of sight, you push a handful of pebbles down to the ground below. The noise elicits more of a response than you had hoped. The orc steps back and grabs a short, sharp spear. Circles back and around, disappearing from sight. You wait motionless for long minutes, without sound or sight of the orc. Tension builds, yet still you wait. Suffer to fear. Nothing to negate. All right. We will guard to to not take anything. Able to delay any longer, you shift your weight silently. Then you see the orc again, directly below you. Split shot eyes look up in that same moment. It reaches for a horn on its belt, but you are quicker. Discard this threat token. You hear voices approaching as you dispatch the sentry. Creep toward flickering torchlight and see a big orc and a hunched goblin each wearing the trophies of high-ranking warriors in this band. Marching, marching from one dead city to another, the goblin complains. The orc growls at his companion's complaints. He grumbles low enough you can't catch everything he says, but you catch the words Adarin and Golgatar. Something about raising an army of the dead. Another patrol is not far behind them, and you move further into the shadows to safety as you consider what this could mean. Could Adarin wish to raise an army of the dead to heed his commands? Lore increases by one. Standing where the orc was posted, you turn your gaze towards your surroundings. What was that orc guarding? Band of orcs, seven or eight in number, guard a passage between two high ridges. With care, clever maneuvers, and perhaps some assistance, you may be able to outsmart their patrols and defenses and slip through the pass. 
Hopefully it leads out of this place. Place the search token. So he beat up a warg and looked at a threat token. Hero's turn is done. Shadow phase. Neither are in darkness. Threat increases by seven. Rally phase. Each hero resets their deck and scouts too. So Aragorn will look at three cards. Let's see. He will put Strider on top of his deck. Agility is not the best, so we will prep that and put the Might on the bottom of his deck. Gimli will scout two. Wisdom and Agility. Neither one are good for him. So once again, we will go with Agility. Prepping that and putting this on the bottom. And for action phases, we will start with Aragorn, interacting with that search token. Head is a sheer jagged cliff that might afford you a high path out of the valley. Its ledges and crevices are few and without aid, may prove unyielding. We will attempt an escape. Careful to avoid the blade-like scree, your journey parallel to the face until you find an area that may be traversable. Test agility, needing three, and a success for each nearby hero. Well, Gimli's on the other side of the world. Well, it's a good thing we took agility. So, one success. Actually, well, we'll go ahead and Use this for our second success, and one for that. So he will pass. The way is treacherous, no doubt, but halfway up you find a shelf that grants you rest. When you continue your climb, the remaining ascent proves easy. The top, however, you are dismayed to find a stretch of equally treacherous cliffs and gullies. This is not your escape. Nevertheless, you take a moment to survey the area. Gathering valuable information for both you and your allies. Lore increases by one. Each player gains an inspiration and may scout one. So Aragorn is luck where, so we'll just go ahead and prep that. So Restless Axe, we'll put that back on top of his deck. Great roar echoes from the cave in which you recently hid. The hulking form of a great troll swings wildly all about, hurling orcs like dolls. Broken and unattended, chains swing from his arms and neck. An orc with a whip shouts to a band of orcs and goblins, Get your look back under control, or I don't want to have your heads. The troll takes a few strides toward the entrance and lets out another howl. Place a hill troll as indicated. This is Yulik. Do not like the sound of this. Aragorn, move one. And then Gimli. We'll move one and interact with that search token. This is where the band of orcs, seven or eight in number, guard a passage. We will try to escape. With care and trepidation, you draw near the post, marked with torches and a small barrier. You find a discarded set of armor that looks just your size. Test wit, needing three, and a success for each nearby hero. Let's see. Wit is not going to do anything for us, but get us two cards. So drawing two. One success. So we did not pass. Pass. 
Slip into the armor and watch carefully for a long time, unmoving, until your muscles begin to ache. Judge that you are not guarding a passage, but a cachet. For they seldom bother to glance behind them, confident of your disguise. You march into the camp and acquire a small bag of ransacked valuables, leaving the orcs none the wiser. Lore increases by two, then discard the search token. And for his final move, he'll go over here and explore. Ridge of bleached crags separate two pristine lakes, perfect for fishing. Discard the exploration token and gain an inspiration. So he is at his max inspiration. A quartet of howls, each with its own sucking tone, echoes through the area. Place a threat token as indicated. Your journey continues. It will end the action phase. Shadow phase. Great troll Oluk pulls against the chains and the orcs try to rein it in. Attack Aragorn or the closest hero. With a move of one, he's un unable to reach anyone, so no target. Strides toward in pursuit of a worthy foe. Moves two spaces towards the closest hero. That will reach Aragorn. Things just got bad. Darkness step. No one is in darkness. Shadow deepens. Threat increases by seven. Dark clouds reach out, casting themselves between you and the stars. You long for the dawn, that you may shed this darkness, and yet dread the dawn if you cannot escape. Each space of the map is now in darkness. That's not going to go well. Rally phase. Tira resets their deck and then scouts too. First with Aragorn looking at three cards. And he wants successes. He's already set to do some extra damage. So we will put this on top of her deck. We will prep Undying Might, discarding Luckware, and put this on the bottom of our deck. And for Gimli, Two ready defenses, which we will just put back on top of her deck. I think Gimli's going to run up to try to be next to Aragorn to see if he can guard him if needed. So, one movement to explore. There used to be prosperous settlement here, but all is left now. It's crumbling rock ruins. Discard the expiration and gain an inspiration. That will be discarded because he's at his max. Green light dances up from a pool of water, barely noticeable beneath the churning surface. Place a search token as indicated. Journey continues. So that was two movement. See, does he want to go ahead and get in there? Why not? For second action, he will move on in. And then Aragorn. Going straight to fight mode. Three cards. One success. He will spend... Well... Spend one more for another success and use Undying Might to get three successes. With his new sword, that will be eight hits. Ah, he only has 23 and four armor. Maybe he should have ran. 
Applying eight hits. Can the enemy attack? Yep. Hammers at your defenses with fist and chain. Might will negate. So three cards. One success. We will have Gimli. Use a guard ability. So that will, this will negate one and the guard will take care of the other three. And after this attack, Yulik moves one away from the closest hero. We will go ahead and just move him down. Well, we'll move him up this direction. So that now Aragorn can run. And by run, we need sprint. So we will spin that for another movement. Leaving Gimli to get ambushed probably. So that will end the action phase. The shadow phase. Everyone is in darkness. So each hero using spirit, needing two successes. So he will spin to inspiration to negate that. And Gimli getting four will negate three. So he will take no fear. Whip snaps against the troll's back again and again. And finally, the orc regains control. No time to mess about. Bellows the orc with the whip. Adrian doesn't want Yulik in the open. I guide Yulik back toward the caves, perhaps forcing it along some alternate subterranean route. Remove Olik from the map. He will go to the side. Shadow deepens, though hope yet endures. Threat increases by six. Rally phase. Tiro resets their deck and scouts two. Aragorn. We'll check out three cards. Let's see. Put a success on top of her deck. Prep agility and put wisdom on the bottom. And Gimli. He ran out of his way. I'll we'll look at two cards. Prepping the poet art and putting wisdom on the bottom. And then we will start with Gimli searching or interacting with the search token. Looking in the green garland. Garlands are woven leaves and vines with a few blossoms dotting the verdant ropes. The cairn of stones is well balanced, the stones polished and clean. The stubs of a few candles are melted into the ground around the array. Test spirit. So we have passed. This must be some sort of shrine or memorial. You light the candles and sit before the festoon stack. You empty your mind, then take a few slow breaths. You feel at peace here. We can flip a face down or discard a face down fear. Then discard the search token. We've been fortunate and haven't taken any damage. Hopefully that doesn't change. So for his next action, he will move two and error going. We'll move one and interact. Quartet of Howls, each with its own sunken tone, echoes through the area. We will search. Once again, you attempt to close in the pack of wolves that has been following you. If you are an elf, which he is not, you can predict the most effective path now. 
can lead them away, confront them. Hmm. We'll lead them away. Confrontation is dangerous at best, so you devise a scheme to lead the wolves away, hopefully for good. Testing wisdom. He's very wise. With four cards. I spoke too soon. So one success. We needed two. We've got nothing to help, so we will fail. Fortunately, your plans go awry. You find yourself surrounded and out of the good graces of the pack. Brutal exchange ensues, but you are able to land several painful blows and they are forced to retreat. After today, you never see or hear the wolves again. Suffer three damage, then discard this threat token. We will guard two, so we just suffer one. Exhaustion, that makes sense after fighting the wolves. Keep this card face up. When you scout during the rally phase, you cannot place cards back on top of your deck. Fair enough. And with our second movement point, we will go explore. Confirm. Rune of White Stone stands resolute against the encroaching bank. Discard the exploration token and gain an inspiration. North Sentry stands on a ridge but its inattention makes it a poor guard. Place a threat token as indicated. Your journey continues. So that is it for our actions. Shadow phase. Everyone's still in darkness. Each hero suffers too, with spirit negating. So, one success, we will spin that inspiration for two. And Gimli is a spirit of four. With one success, and an inspiration to negate that. Threat increases by five. Rally phase. So, with food at the start of the rally phase, you may deplete this item for a hero in your space to discard one damage. So Aragorn will eat some food, depleting one to get rid of the exhaustion. And each hero resets their deck and scouts too. Aragorn will look at three cards. We will put lead the charge on top of our deck. Starter we will prep and gift of men on the bottom of our deck. And Gimli looking at two cards. Let's see, we have ready defense already. So we would just put both of these on top of our deck. We will start with Gimli interacting with that token. Looking at the old stones. Brush aside the thickest clumps of greenery to get a better look at the ancient stones. You think they might be long forgotten graves. Testing wisdom. He is not very wise, but we know what's here. We have our two successes, so we will pass. Determined that this is the last resting place of several heroes of men, dating back not too long after the area was first settled by the Numenor in the Second Age. Lore increases by one, then discard this search token. And then for movement, He will go over here, and Aragorn will interact with this threat token at the bottom. Or 
York Sentry stands on a ridge, but its inattention makes it a poor guard. Eliminate the Sentry. Perfect silence, you approach the Orc Sentry. Sticking to the underbrush and shadows with mere steps remaining, the Orc's ugly head swivels in your direction. Its pale eyes pass over your hiding place. You may have been discovered. Test Wisdom. If you are hidden, add one success. We are not hidden, but our Wisdom is four. I'm not going to brag on that again. We have two successes. Nothing to boost that. Orc shows no signs of alarm, but you cannot be certain. You shift further back, hoping it has not spotted you, but the movement draws its eye. It stalks forward, weapon drawn. The scuffle that follows is quick, but not without cost. Suffer two damage and one fear, then discard this threat. We will use guard for one damage and one fear, and then take one damage. Now we are wearing this. Flip this card face down. Standing where the orc was posted, you turn your gaze toward your surroundings. What was the orc guarding? Tall ridge flanks a dark forest. Its twisted branches beckon you forward as the shadows within warn you away. Could be the tangle of the branch and bush conceal a way out of the valley. You long for company as you survey the wood. Place a search token as indicated. So he will move to and that will end the hero's turn. Shadow phase. Each hero suffers two darkness with spirit negating. Air going first. Zero successes. So the first one. Gloom, flip this card face down. And the second. Greed. Deplete another hero's trinket. If you cannot suffer one face down fear, then flip this card face down. So we'll flip that card face down. And Gimli will lose one of his depletion tokens. And then Gimli will get four cards. With one success, spending an inspiration, negating that fear. Threat increases by four. Valley around you feels too small, with enemies around every corner just waiting to cut you down. Place a hungry warg. Rally phase. Each hero resets their deck and then scouts too. Here going looking at three cards. We are going to prep spirit and place both of these on the bottom of her deck. Gimli will get to look at two cards. Let's see. We like the guard. So we will prep that and put this on the bottom of his deck. Guarding Undying Spirit. Then we will have Aragorn start. He will take a look at the search token. Darkness of night appears as dawn when compared to the shadows of this wood. You see a path before you, but does not lead to freedom. Testing Spirit. Add a success for each nearby hero. Gimli is nowhere nearby so we will 
to look at two cards, getting zero successes. We could get one, but that's not going to help. So we will fail. Darkness is unforgiving and unrelenting. The whispers become ever harsher. And its touch grows ever colder. And you wish again and again that this nightmare would end. Nightmare so terrible that you begin to doubt if it is a dream at all. You wander from the wood, having never intended to turn around, and wonder when you woke. Suffer three fear. There's no block in that. So the first one. Gloom. Going face down. This will be his fourth. Hopelessness. Discard two prepared cards or suffer two face down wounds. Hmm. It's already hurting. We will discard two prepped cards and then discard this card. And the third one. Hysteria. You and each nearby hero suffer a damage, then discard this card. So the damage. Dazed. Keep this card face up. Before you interact with a threat token, you must spend one inspiration. Well, that went well. We should try that again. Testing Spirit again. Needing two this time. One success. And our card to add a second success. So we will pass. There's an evil here. The fear is thicker than the darkness that looms all around you. Despite the danger, despite the terror, you resolve that this will be your escape. For you doubt that the orc patrols, even with all their evil and corruption, would dare enter this wood. You have found your escape. Now that you have won your escape route, you are able to gain some distance on Adarin's army. The heroes have evaded Adarin's grasp. Now they will need to focus on stopping his sinister plans. Lore increases by two. Each hero receives four experience. You're faced with a moment of choice. Adarin counts an enormous troll amongst his allies, traveling a longer subterranean route. If you track down the troll, you could defeat it and remove one of Adarin's most potent advantages in the battle to come. However, Adarin's army is already on the march toward the Brandywine River. If you could make haste and cross the river ahead of the army, it might keep you one step ahead of Ad Adarin's plot. One thing is certain. If you choose to spend time tracking the troll and fail to eliminate it, the consequences will be dire. Which path will you choose? Heroes must decide, track the troll, or hurry to the river. We're going after the troll. Tracking the troll will be risky, but defeating it will rob your foe of a powerful ally. Are you sure you wish to track the troll? Of course not, but we will. Well, I hope you enjoyed this adventure. If so, please click on the like button below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.